All right, let's move on to another trending topic this week. So I don't understand and I don't even know what is going on with Meg. Uh, but Meg is going through it right now. You know, she had a hot girl summer weekend. They, uh, she had a very big performance at Coachella. And she was planning, all this time she was planning to sit down with Gail King for this interview, okay? Mind you, Tory Lanez is not allowed to speak to anybody about this case, okay? So I don't know how fair is that on him. Not that I'm on his side. I don't condone any kind of violence, especially towards women. What he did was wrong. And what we've seen on this interview um, yesterday with Gail King, it was very emotional, seeing her crying. You know, I know a lot of people don't believe what happened, but... To be honest, I do believe. I do believe because there is proof, there is text, there is messages that were sent. And I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna sit here and say that Tory Lanez acted on uh, self defense. I don't think there was any type of self defense going on. But what threw me the most was when Gail King was asking her if they had a romantic relationship. She paused and then she was like, um, "Sexual relationship." Um, no, we did not. Right there, we knew that she was lying because they had allegedly had slept with each other. So we're not going to sit here and act like we're kids. We're not kids. Mac, you slept with him. That's okay. It's, it's nothing. You know, Gail was trying to be messy with the situation. But I am not condoning this behavior, okay? Well, and the other thing that kind of upset me the most about this interview is like, why did you choose to give this interview to Gail King? Why didn't you go to small platforms? I mean, if you're really trying to help, you already know that the black media is always at the end of the line. Why didn't you just give this interview to the small bloggers or small upcoming black bloggers? And one with Tasha K, the shade room, the shade room is already up there. The neighborhood talk, Lovely tea, it's a long list of these people that you should have supported. But you're looking for the whole big publicity and you're going to go to Gail King, the messy one. You know that she's messy. But, I mean, it's all about the bag. I don't know. You probably got a lot of money from that because she be dashing out a lot of money. We all know what happened with R. Kelly. So, um, yeah. Get your back, sis. Go get your back. But we the people are not going to forget that you lied about this whole incident. I don't even know why you lied. And I, sometimes, well, I kind of understand sometimes, you know, a lot of people sometimes don't understand why she lied. They say oh, it does not make sense about that, you know, about the class. I mean, the doctor could not lie. The doctor did mention that she found some freaking things inside her wound, the bullet stuff inside the wound. So why would you say you got caught by the class? The main reason she said that she did clearly say that she did not want to get out because once they mentioned that there was a gun on the scene, something bad would have happened. We're dealing with black people here and they are in the middle of LA. A lot of people get killed, especially black. If y'all seen the video where she was getting, uh, where the cops were, were coming, the helicopter, it, it, was, it was a little bit scary. And as a black person, it's really hard for us sometimes to call the cops. And I understand where she's coming from with this, but I mean, if that... That was your intentions. I don't understand why the beef is still going on between you and uh, Tori if you decided to slide everything under the rug and move on. Because to me, it doesn't seem like you're moving on. It seems like you were hurt, on which I understand that you were hurt, but you should have just got him arrested. You should have just told the truth from the beginning, but you did not want to um, cooperate with the police from the beginning, allegedly. So, it is what it is. Um, good luck with this. Um, Tory Lanez just got released two weeks ago. Um, and he was already um, hanging out with 1501 um, Carl. 
Carl Crawford, you know, just to be petty. I don't even understand why would you even do that? Like, hey, you know, I was wrong about Messi guns like a manana. You did that. You took that picture with Carl Crawford because you wanted to get on Mag. It's, it's really sad. All right, let's move right along to another topic. Let's go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you haven't done that. Please and thank you. We're going to move right along to the baby situation.